Uh, Alex, your uh, agent right there. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. I would say uh, you use my office if you want. Morning. How were your guys' classes yesterday? Are you guys? I don't understand why we're acting like it's the first day of school. Like I've literally talked to all of you at some point. You know, I mean, yes, a lot of you was mostly via chat and stuff like that. But I do know you guys to some extent. So everybody's just been really weird the last couple of days. I'm hoping that that wears off. You know, with like the novelty of being back and stuff, but. Anyways, welcome. I hope you guys are doing okay, even if you guys aren't emoting or saying anything back, you know. I hope you guys were, you know, happy to be back to some extent, you know. Um, so obviously, I kind of anticipated that you guys were going to react this way, but um, hi, I'm Mr. Williams. I've been the guy who's talking to you on Zoom for the last almost year now, three quarters of the school year. Um, so as far as the YouTube thing, just make sure you guys are still subscribed because I will be still posting. In fact, I'm going to be posting something, um, not for spring break or anything. I'm not going to make you guys do anything over the spring break. I'm not that mean. But um, I will be having something when you guys get back, probably. Um, I was going to have a podcast. I'm still working with Ted because they still have screwed that up royally um, when they wiped your guys' iPads. Um, so I had first period yesterday, they attempted, if you guys could download Anchor, um, you can't use it yet, you can't log into it, um, that's the part that I'm having to fix, so if you guys want to get your iPad down real quick, and just as we download it, so that way you have it, yeah. What's up? It's literally the second period of the day. Sure. Okay, all right. Yes. Do we have to download Anchor if we're subscribed to you on our Spotify? Yes. You still need to download it because it is an app that we are going to be using because you guys will be recording your own podcast again too eventually. We did that like once or twice last semester and we're going to be doing it again. So, yeah, just make sure you have it downloaded. Like I said, you can't log into it yet. We tried that yesterday and just kept saying, like, some error message. I forgot exactly what I said. But, so, yeah, so we're just moving past that. Um, I decided to skip this because you guys have been all too awkward for this. So, I'm not going to play you a song because, yeah, you guys have been acting weird and I think it's weird looks from you guys. So, I'm just going to move on. So we're just going to get started then. Maybe eventually when you guys stop asking for weird, I can start doing stuff like that. Um, but I wanted to talk to you. So we're going to mostly be talking about the 20% project this week. Um, I talked to you a little bit about it the other day, and we're just going to continue that conversation. We're going to like try and get you guys prepared as far as like what you guys are going to choose to do for your projects. Um, I was going to do some Caesar like writing practice this week, but I decided it's your first week back. We'll just start with writing when we get back from break. Um, plus, this is something that we would have normally started in January, but obviously, I wanted to just wait till you guys were back in person before we actually started. So, the whole point of the 20% project is taking learning and putting it into your guys' hands. So, giving you guys the opportunity to kind of like take what you're interested in and do something with it, like maybe learn more about it, 
um, get more experience, more skill with something. So that's what we're going to be doing with the 20% project. There's other terms for it, like I said, genius hour, uh, 20 time. And um, you know, I didn't really talk about it with my first and third period classes yesterday, but what it is though, it is actually something that came from uh, 3M, which they're the people who made command strips and stuff and like those notes and stuff like that. They actually, they're one of the people, one of the companies that they would actually give their employees like, here, take 20% of your time, take like Monday or whatever, and you're gonna spend all Monday working on your own project. So like try to come up with something new. And when they did that, that's basically, I'm pretty sure that's how, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's how post-it notes were, but it was one of the three products. I forgot if it was post-it notes or command strips, but um, Google also does that. So with their employees, they'll have, that's how, when Gmail was invented, Gmail was invented as a result of the 20% uh, project. So it's a thing that like a lot of companies do to like come up with innovative new things, because if you tell the, your employees that you're now you're going to do literally the same thing every day and you're not going to get a chance to like kind of like do something creative or find something out then innovation doesn't happen and you're just stuck doing the same thing all the time so that's what i want you guys to do not that you're employees or anything but i want you guys to be able to take some like we're still going to be doing caesar we're still going to be doing like the other novels and stuff like that but i am going to give you 20 percent of your time for you guys to pursue your own passions so that's what this is all about. So the real question is, what isn't it? Because you can take this in almost literally any direction you want. So again, you're going to be exploring a topic that interests you. You're going to be creating something with the knowledge that you have earned. Notice I didn't say learn because you guys are the ones who are going to be in charge of, you know, getting that knowledge. I'm not going to be like saying, here's all the information you guys need and just come back to me when you, you know, when you have it. So. I'm not going to be just like, here's a bunch of Google slides about a topic that you guys are going to be doing. What you guys are going to be finding out the information for yourself. So you're going to research various aspects of the topic. So some of these uh, things that you guys, when you research your topic, it could be techniques, history, trends, those are just examples. So for example, my daughter, she's not in high school, she's seventh grade, but she's really into art. So one of the things that she's been doing is like that whole like window pane, like picture frame, like paintings and stuff. You guys, you guys are familiar with this? Yes, no, maybe so. So she's been really like obsessed with that to the point where um, she's like asking us to get her more picture frames just so she can take them apart and you know paint them. But it's really cool because it's like you have to think about it backwards. So basically, rather than like when you and as you guys can see, I'm no artist. My handwriting is pretty much indicative of my art ability. So I can't draw, but I'm going to attempt to. So when you draw something, you have a background, right? Let's just pretend this is a sun or just a hairy orb or something. I don't know what this is. But, anyways, so this is a sun. Just pretend. And then I'm drawing a person now. This is, again, stick figures is what I do. Um, and then I draw the eyes, mouth, glass, right? Maybe some hair. I don't know what that's like. I haven't had hair in a while. So anyways, but I drew the details last. Whereas when you are doing like the painting on the glass, you have to do everything backwards. You start with the eyes. You start with like the little wrinkles in the face and stuff like that. You do have to do all the details up backwards, which to me is just like crazy because you have to like be aware of like, where's the head even gonna go? You have to know exactly. And so like, you don't have like one eye up here and one eye down here or something, you know? So to me, it's just like, I was impressed, but she had to research it. So, and I just want you guys to be aware that research doesn't mean a lot of reading necessarily, because research could be watching a YouTube video, which is what she did. So research doesn't mean that you're going to be reading 30 pages about the topic you're interested in. So don't worry about that. You will be completing a research paper, however, online, but again, some of the research can be based off of like stuff that you have watched. Not necessarily stuff that you've read, stuff that you've listened to, if there's like kind of a podcast about it or something. And you will ultimately, so the research paper, it, again, it does say later on, it'll probably be sometime next month, I would say end of April. And then the presentation would be end of May. So end of May, beginning of June, first week of June, maybe because we have two weeks of June. Yeah. Wait, so do I have to like make this up or can it be like something? 
Something like that, but it has to be something that you're going to be able to do like for multiple weeks. So it's not just like, so you're going to work on this project and it's going to be something you're going to continuously work on. So maybe you have a make a little mini series of podcasts about a certain topic or something like that, or a YouTube channel based off of a topic. So yeah, and that's actually going to be getting to my next point in just a second. But why am I giving you this freedom? I could if I wanted to. I'm literally the only global teacher who does this. So um, I don't know, some of you might think that that's a blessing or a curse. I don't know. It just depends on your outlook on this project. I mean, the alternative is just an extra day of Julius Caesar or an extra day of Lord of the Flies. So you guys can take that as you will. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you guys to be not just thinking, again, I'm, I'm a realist. I don't like, I'm not like one of those people who's like, you're going to remember every single line from this play. I know that that's not true. You may remember a Brute. You may remember, like, I don't know, maybe the one about, like, only the valiant die once, you know, the cowardly die many times. And even if you, like, paraphrase it, maybe you remember that. But even if you don't, I'm not expecting you guys to memorize this play or anything. What I'm hoping that you guys take away from my class is curiosity. I want you guys to be interested in what's around you. I am not mechanic. Who in here is like mechanically fine? Like who's good at like building stuff, taking stuff apart? Couple of you, three, four. That's not me. I applaud you guys for being able to do that because I cannot do that. I am not mechanically inclined whatsoever. But I'm still interested in how stuff works. Like I have general like understanding of like how different things work. Even if I don't feel comfortable, like I, I know I'm gonna break something if I try to, you know, fix it, and probably I'll break it even more. But like I said, I I want to know more about the world around me. Sorry, that's just really loud. Anyways, um, I also listen to a science podcast, even though I'm obviously not a science teacher. I never majored in science. I took some basic like undergrad science classes in college that I was required to take, but I, I've literally never even taken chemistry, like high school or in college. I've never taken a chemistry class. Um, I somehow found a way to get out of that, but I am, but I still, I love listening to it because I'm interested. It's about the universe, it's about the world around us. And so I just find all that super interesting. And so to me, if I could turn you guys into lifelong learners, it's, you know, again, it's hopefully something that you guys will be able to do like through this project because by learning about something that you're interested in, it might spark something. It might make you like, okay, well, I learned something about this. Maybe I'm gonna learn about something else that I'm interested in. It might not always be the subjects that you learn in school. I'll be completely honest. I understand that. But maybe you will be interested about other things. So I'm hoping that, again, if nothing else, I can get you guys to become more curious about, about the world around you. Okay. So what I'm going to have you guys do now, this is going to be, um, this isn't going to be something you turn in. So you can do it on paper. So if you maybe forgot to charge your iPad or something, um, you can do that. Um, if you want to use your iPad and just type it off on a Google Doc, just know that I'm not going to get this Google Doc from you. So I don't, you can type it on notes. I don't care where you type it. Um, but basically, I come up with a bunch of questions. You don't necessarily have to answer all the questions, but these are just like questions to like spark like ideas, topics about what your project could be. It doesn't have to be one of these. And you might come up with something that's not even on the list that you create, but we're just going to generate ideas. And there's no such thing as a stupid idea. Well, there is stupid ideas, but they could turn into good ideas. So, um, so what hobbies do you already have? A lot of us probably have some form of hobby, and it can range from skating, video games, again, um, sports. There's lots of different things that you can put on there. What topics interest you? Again, going back to it could be sports, it could be politics, it could be um, the environment, it could be, um, I'm trying to think what else. I have somebody who's doing like uh, farm ag, some people are more interested in like career kind of stuff. 
And be careful with careers because I want you to like focus. If you like pick a career, like something in the medical field, maybe focus on a skill or an aspect of the medical field, or maybe you want to learn more about like what different types of doctors do. Maybe you want to learn more about like, you know, obviously vaccines are kind of a hot topic right now. So like how medicine works, how vaccines work. So again, it could be anything on that. What do you want to learn more about in general? What skills do you want to learn? Because it doesn't have to be something you already know. It could be something that's completely new to you. So some examples from last year, I had some students who learned how to do ASL, which is American Sign Language. And so they did like videos of like having conversations with people um, using ASL, which was really cool. Um, I had a person who was trying to learn Japanese because they're like really into anime and manga and stuff. Yes. Okay, so again, my daughter is very much into arts. I'm very much into cooking and guitar. Um, let's see. Even just listening to music, if you're like really into like music, even if you don't create music, maybe you just listen to lots of music and you like listen to a lot of what people would consider like more underground or indie music or something. Maybe you're like really into watching movies. Maybe, you know, let's see, I'm trying to think what else. What else could it be? I don't know. For hobbies, I just I tend to think of just stuff that you would do normally on your free time. You know, maybe you're like really into coffee or tea. You know, <laughs> I'm super into coffee. I'm like super snobby about my coffee. I, I will never be the guy who buys Folgers unless I am like going camping or something. But huh? Yeah, I am not a big fan, but. I'm also the guy who like grinds my beans in the morning and like pour. I do have the pour over coffee kind of thing, but like I said, that's that's just me. That's my own preference. So I don't judge anybody who's like that. That's just not something that I enjoy. Um, I also have a lot of people who are very into volunteering, which obviously I know volunteering probably looks a lot different right now. Um, I have had people who've like volunteered at like ASPCA, ACT, different like. Um, like animal shelters, like no kill animal shelters, people have done that. People have like organized like canned food drives, um, or they did, and it was, and they had to do like multiple like event kind of things. But you know, so it could if you're into volunteering, that could be something that you're into that you could do. Um, so I'm going to give you guys ten minutes. Okay. So my clock is just really. I I thought I fixed my clock this morning, or I thought I did. Um, I noticed yesterday that it wasn't working. Currently, it needs new batteries. So, so sorry. It's actually 9:22. So, but I'm gonna give you guys about eight, ten minutes to come up with as many ideas as you guys can think about. So again, even if it's a stupid idea, write it down. You're not turning it in. I'll never know. Just keep writing. What you guys are doing that, I'm going to come around and I'm going to, again, make sure you guys, I put uh, for our flights, make sure you guys can watch the desk and we'll be doing that every morning. So I'm going to come collect your trash though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did anyone or did you already go to life? Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Good for beating me to the front. So thank you. No.
while you guys are thinking, I'll try to remember some other ideas that my students have done in the past. I've had people uh, who try to create their own clothing line, and they actually made a couple of shirts. They did, like, I did pull them, they didn't have to make all the designs that they did, you know, but they made a couple of them, which was pretty cool. But they made lots of different designs, even if they didn't have them all created. Um, I've had people who are interested, like, in like cosmetology, like make a YouTube channel. Um, I've had people, uh, the person who did Japanese, they created a, their goal was to create like a children's book in Japanese, which was pretty fun. So lots of different possibilities. Maybe you are into gardening or something. Maybe you want to like, test like maybe you're going to grow tomatoes or something and you're going to like test like different ways to like grow the tomato and see which one works best. Four more minutes. Couple more minutes. Again, think of maybe just one or two more ideas in these last few minutes. Even if you think there's no way I'm going to do it.
Before I have you all share one of your thoughts or one of your ideas, again, you're not going to be sharing all of them, just one. Um, I was going to show you, so I usually do a 20% project with you. Um, this is the one that I started last year. Obviously, we didn't get a chance to finish it since, you know, the world shut down in March last year. Um, but my, my goal for last year was I had recently started picking up the guitar again because, I mean, I had played a little bit here and there, but I really started playing again last year, even before things had shut down. I would, I would say probably the last like year and a half, two years, I really started playing more, not like serious of like I'm going to do anything with it, just playing on a more regular basis. So it was like, you know, I used to love actually like writing songs. And so I used to like, you know, I was in a band, so I like wrote songs when I was in like high school and my early 20s and stuff like that. So I put kind of an in introduction of what my project is about how like in order to save my own sanity basically to make sure I had like something that I did that like kind of was like a stress reliever for me with playing guitar. So that's one of the reasons why I was doing it and then I put some of like my old songs in there kind of as like, I don't know, like almost like inspiration of why I was doing it again. Um, and we will all be creating uh, websites. Um, every website will look a little different. Um, every website will have this page though on there. So we will have research that we do on our topic. And again, the research can have YouTube videos. Um, if it has a YouTube video, then we just like provide some commentary of like why you use that video. Like if it's like teaching you a certain technique or just a certain skill that you didn't know about or whatever it might be. Um, and this was all I had done um, before, again, we stopped, because obviously we stopped doing the 20% project because we were trying to kind of figure out like what we were doing last uh, spring. Mine uh, was more like blog based. Um, like I said, everybody's could be different. Yours could be more like a YouTube video. It could be a podcast that you do instead. It could be a blog like mine. So I basically just had like every week and I did delete this video last year because I at the beginning of the school year I deleted a lot of my old videos. Um, but it was basically just me learning to play or attempting to learn how to play Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel, which probably a lot of you don't know that song, but it's come up in movies and stuff. So um, I just, you know, went through it and this is kind of the last entry I was going to do and then like things started getting crazy and we're like, oh, maybe I'm not going to do that anymore. But uh, also everybody will find a mentor. Um, again, you can meet with that mentor by calling them, meeting them on, on Zoom or Google Meet. Um, if you know the person and are comfortable meeting them in person, you can also do that. My mentor was actually Mr. Norris, another world lit teacher. He also plays guitar. He also is in a band. So I was like, oh, I'll just bounce ideas off of him. It doesn't have to be somebody who's like necessarily an expert, but it's somebody who can at least help you or give you like ideas um, as far as that goes. It doesn't have to be like, I don't have to find a professional musician to be my mentor or anything. Um, and then the resources page was just like for like the where I got my research. And again, you'll notice that one of my research items was a YouTube video. So again, that's partially where I got some of my information. So it doesn't, like I said, have to be all the best. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna just go in order of death. So sorry, Kaden, we're starting with you. What was one of your ideas? Oh, here, so. What's that? Aerosol. Like, what are you going to do with it? Well, I'm going to learn how to get better at it. Okay. Okay. All right. Marcos? Learn how to cook more dishes. Okay. Ronnie? What about it? Okay. I would say maybe, I mean, that's fine. You could look to the future of something, you know, like what's the future of cars look like? What is the future of, you know, so it just needs to be like a more specific topic, maybe, you know? So that, that's all I would say about that one. Uh, Ivan? 
Okay. Uh, and then Marcos, sorry, I didn't ask what were you like, what kind of dishes were you wanting to cook? Huh? Anything. Okay. Did you have a specific thing that you wanted to cook? Like cooking. Okay. Well, as you guys get into cooking, you'll probably learn that there's a lot of different techniques of cooking, you know? So maybe it's dessert, maybe it's like side dishes, maybe it's just like snack food, you know? I mean, it could be like maybe I've had people who focus like I'm gonna do a different like um, a different like cultures like food each week or something you know like maybe I'll do Mexican food one week maybe I'll do Japanese food another week so just again these are all just brainstorm ideas so like I'm not expecting you guys to have like a hundred percent thought out ideas but I'm just trying to give you guys like ideas to think about for when we get closer to the project. Uh, Lauren, how about you? What your favorite drawing? Drawing. Okay. Is there like a certain like again like a style or technique of type of drawing, or you can use like you know? You get better at Okay. All right. See, and like that's more of like a goal that you have, so that's good. So thank you, Kayla. How about you? Wait, I have three. That's fine. You can, like I said, you probably all have a bunch of things. So I would say pick the one that you're leaning towards the most. Okay. Well, tell us the two then. Okay. Have you ever seen like the where they like do the positive and negative plant and they talk to the plants and they say positive things to one plant and negative things to the other and see how they grow? Yes, I have heard of this. I don't know if I believe it, but I want to do it. Well, I, don't know I, if mean, I believe it, so I should do it. That's fine, and you can do that. I mean, it's it's and it's okay to test things that you're not a hundred percent convinced of. That's you know what science is in a lot of ways too. Okay, and the other thing, I want to write a newspaper article, but like I want to do it. Like if I was in the time period of when like certain serial killers were active, like I could write a newspaper article on them, like they were like some like you know how they called that guy? I don't remember his name, but he's like super big right now. Oh, man, um, I the that Night guy. Stalker, and they would call him the Night uh, Stalker, and every serial killer had like a notorious name that like wasn't even like it. Some of it like had nothing to do with them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. My wife is super. Everybody always brings up a true crime thing. My wife is super yeah. into true crime. And she like listens to tons of podcasts. I come home, she's watching Snapped. If you're not familiar with Snapped, oh, yes. that's that's the one where the wife like kills the husband or boyfriend or whatever, and it always makes me super nervous. So like <laughs> when I go to cook, I make sure it's like okay, the gas isn't on, I'm not gonna blow up or anything, you know. So I'm always just very hesitant when I come home and she's watching us, like I must have done something wrong. Uh Joseph, how about you? Cars. What's that? Cars. Cars, okay, like um, would it be like Working on them, like fixing them, or would it be like learning more about them? A little bit of both. Okay, cool. All right. And then, Nathaniel? Um, cooking. I like to learn different techniques from different cultures and incorporate them into dishes. I heard that idea somewhere. That's the one I said. You guys are being all quiet. I don't trust it. Anyways, Carson. Oh, okay. Is that something you've done before or now? Or okay, what kind of dirt bike do you have? Uh, Y C one twenty five Yamaha. Oh, okay. My I I don't do dirt bikes, but I have like family who does, and they've been more like um. Oh God, I'm gonna get this one. They K and R T M. K T M. Thank you. I could not remember what the letters were. Uh, Mia, how about you? Baking. Baking. Okay, like desserts, bread, what? Um, all kinds of things. I mostly want to focus on improving on decorating cakes. Okay, all right. Emily, how about you? I say gaming, like professional gamers to see like what it is and what you do. No? I was actually watching um, an episode of this old show um, called Parts Unknown last night, and it's about this one guy who's like a cook and he like travels to like different countries and stuff. And I mean, he committed suicide, so you know, the show's obviously not happening anymore. But uh, he went to Korea in the episode that I watched last night. And obviously, Korea has a huge, like, you know, gaming community, like professional gaming and stuff. So it may have to be something you could, like, do as far as like your research goes. So it would just, I, it was crazy. Like, there was like this huge room, there's like tons of people, like, these, like, at least five thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars computers, I imagine, as far as like all like crazy, and it was just like it was like 
very organized. It wasn't just like a bunch of like dudes or like girls or whatever, like in this room. It was like people who were like, I don't know, they, it looked professional. It's just crazy how far that's come along. Yeah. Um, I want to learn how to cook Italian. Italian, okay, cool. And then like I said, there's definitely a lot of different directions you go. Um, it's funny because like, I've always heard people say like Italian and Mexican food like are kind of like similar in the way that like, I mean, they're not like similar to each other, but they're like in Italian food, for example, like a lot of the dishes are, a lot, there's a lot of the same ingredients, but just like arranged like differently. And I think it's like the same thing with like Mexican food too. It's like, you have like a lot of the same ingredients, but they're like just like put together differently. So I think that like Italian food is cool, and I think you'll see like a lot of like common things that like go together. It's like, oh yeah, I did the same thing in this other recipe. Alex, how about you? I want to learn how to code so I could make video games and stuff. Okay, and I've had some people who are into coding and stuff and like graphic design too, so that'd be really cool. Um, I also had people who did like. Um, I'm trying, I'm just remembering some other like projects people have done. People were like into like 3D printing and stuff, which we have a 3D printer on campus um, in the library. Um, so they were like just trying to get like better at using it. Like, so like each week they would try to build something more advanced. They would start off with something like basic the first week and then like the next week maybe add a different element to it and just continue to do that. Um, there was definitely some spectacular failures, which I like that phrase, spectacular failure, because they like, it, it came out horrible. It looked really bad, but like, it was really like impressive, like what they were trying to do. And again, I want you guys all to go in with that mentality. Even if you like horribly screw up, and obviously with yours, yours would cost a lot of money if you really screwed it up. But um, it's, it's something I want you guys to go into. Don't be afraid to fail. Like, don't be afraid. Like, if you like, don't do your project right or like you bake something that comes up. I believe me, I've just now got into making this past year and I've made some really like horrible things. Just like ugly, didn't taste good. Basically I had a scrap. So talk about those failures in your project too. Don't be afraid to like share like, you know, not only, I, I feel like that we live in an age like with social media the problem that I have with social media, and I'm about to sound like an old man telling you guys to get off my lawn, but um, my biggest issue with social media isn't like the fact that you guys are connected or can talk or whatever, Sherry. My my thing is that the, my problem with social media is that it's a lie. Like it basically makes your guys' life a lie. Because if you only show, most people only show like the good things that have happened to them, you know? It's like people like, like will like take pictures of their family, and like, it's like perfect, like the perfect family and the perfect situation, you know what I mean? And it's like, you know that that's not like their entire life. You know, everybody has like a gray area. So like I said, take that mentality with your project that I don't expect perfection. I expect you guys to grow and to hopefully like learn from your mistakes and try to get better. I mean, same thing with writing in my class in general. I, I hope you guys take that with just my class in general. All right. Okay, so let's talk real about as far as like this project goes. So you guys have given me some ideas. I like, again, I didn't dislike anybody's idea. I just want maybe some of your ideas to be a little bit more specific, um, which, you know, we're gonna work on this week. That on Thursday, we'll have more of a final like kind of idea of what our projects are gonna be. And even if you guys decide this is what I'm doing and then over spring break, you try to like work on it a little bit and then you come back after spring break and you're like, no, that wasn't for me. I'm going to either like make a small change to it or I'm going to completely blow up because I'm just not going to be able to do that. That's fine. So things to consider is time commitment because obviously Carson's not going to be able to bring his bike to my class and try to leave the brains in here. Um, Mia's not going to be cooking Italian food in my class as much as I would enjoy that probably. You know, I, you know, I don't think that's realistic, but will you be able to commit time outside of the class? So in the case of like, and I'm sorry, I keep using you, Carson, but like, I would imagine that's something that you would probably want to try to do on your own anyways, right? And that's the whole point of this. It isn't for you guys to do something like, this is something that Williams is making me do. It's something that you want to do, right? It's something that you would already be interested in. I'm just giving you a little extra motivation to do it just because it's going to be part of the class. Um, will this be something that you can and will want to do from now until the end of May? 
So even for yours, let's say you figure it out in the next couple of weeks. Maybe you move on to some other part of your bike that you want to work on or something else, or maybe like a different type of vehicle, you know? Um, every project needs to have something that you're going to create from what you've learned. So again, the examples for that would be like a YouTube channel. Um, it could be like a YouTube channel of you making the dish or trying to make the dish. Um, it could be, and you can set it to private. You don't have to make it public, you know, if you do do a YouTube channel. So you don't have people like watch it other than like sharing it with me or whatever. Um, same thing with a podcast. You could do a podcast. So like, hey, I was actually going to ask, suggest if you wanted to do the true crime thing, you could do a podcast on the true crime rather than a news article, unless you really are wanting to write. That was my third option. Okay, so that's something that you could do too. And hopefully, like I said, I'm going to get the anchor situation figured out so you guys can actually record. Um, like I said, if you wanted it, Marcos and Ivan, I know you both were also into cooking, maybe you do a cookbook. Um, and again, it just, I want you guys to maybe think of like a theme to your cooking, like maybe I'm going to focus on like meatless dinners or maybe only meat dinners, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, review articles, if you were into like video games or music or movies, you could like pick a different like video game album, movie to review each week or something. It's like, talk about what you liked, what worked, what didn't work. Um, and then obviously, et cetera, because you can do other things as well. But like I said, those are just some examples, but again, the whole point is you will be creating something from what you've learned. Um, uh, it could also be like a blog like I did in my website that I showed you guys. So what I'm gonna need from you today, before you leave, we have about, 20 minutes still, so we still got quite a bit of time, is to type your idea into the 20% brainstorm idea assignment on campus. It's a discussion. And then once you do that, you're going to respond to two other people's ideas. Try to pick somebody who hasn't had a reply yet, because I've noticed a lot of people at the top of the discussion have been like responding to like the same people. And obviously, they can only take so many suggestions. And I'd rather people who haven't had suggestions to get some ideas. Um, but yeah, so basically that's basically what we're going to be, basically like, sir, I say that word a lot, so just be prepared. Um, but just make sure that you guys are working on um, your ideas and try to make your ideas a little more specific than what you told me. Maybe think of like how you're going to be doing the assignment, like what is going to be the product that you're going to be making um, from what you're learning about. So just again, the more specific, the better. Um, and again, just know that this isn't like marrying you to the assignment, you know, or to this idea. You could change your idea between now and Thursday. You could change it. I would say it would probably need to be pretty much finalized by the time we come back from break. But I would say between now and then, it's it's fluid. You guys can change it as necessary. Okay. Do you guys like this idea? Do you are you guys excited to do this? I mean, I'm hoping. Like I said, I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to make this something you won't enjoy. I'm trying to let you have the option to do something that you would enjoy, you know? So, I mean, the alternative is just, you know, more of this, but this is what we're going to be working on basically on Mondays during the virtual time. Um, I also will give you some in class time on Thursdays to work on or Fridays for you guys actually. Um, so probably like 15, 20 minutes on Fridays to work on this. Um, unless we are like just like super behind in like our main rule lit stuff but i'll try to give you guys time to work on it since especially we haven't had as long as a time as i normally give you guys to work on it any questions before you guys work on this okay go to it so again it's on canvas um what i would suggest for you is if you don't have it Maybe write it out and then you can like type it out later, okay?
So we have 10 minutes left. Um, if you are done, if you've already responded to two people, you are welcome to respond to more than two people. I mean, I'm not saying you can't do more. So I mean, obviously, if you see somebody who has an idea and maybe they need a little help, it's always nice to point in the right direction.
We only have a few minutes left, so um, just really quick, I wanted to say that there's no homework tonight. Um, as long as you did the discussion, as long as you responded to two people, uh, you're going to have no homework. On Friday, we will be continuing um, this idea finding process, trying to make our ideas a little more specific, maybe start thinking about what we're going to be creating as well, and just working on uh the like bones of our project i'll probably have you guys start creating your website too so make sure you know that your iPad is hard so you can build the website okay all right you guys just hang out until the bell rings <laughs>